Next, we need to check for the shear resistance of the power caps. There are three types of critical sections needs to be checked. First, we check the critical sections at pi per 5 from the inner surface of the power face. As you know that the spacing between the piles is equal to 3 times the power size. That means it falls within this category. There will be a shear enhancement which decrease the shear force to VED equals to AV per D. You will need to determine the AV. This is calculated graphically based on the half of the power width minus half of the columns minus 150 minus 4 per 5 times the power size. That gives you AV. With the AV of 10, substitute into the formula here which you need to determine the VED at the earlier part. The VED here is determined by two units of the power which fall beyond the critical section. The power load here is equal to 736 kilonewton per unit. That gives you 1472. Substitute the value into the equations. You will get reduced shear loads as 490 kN. Now you need to check the shear load against the shear resistance of the power caps. Based on these two formula. You need K and you need rho 1 for you to compute this. And also you need formulas for you to compute VRDC minimum. The K here is found to be equals to 1.47, which is less than equals to 2, that gives you 1.47. The row 1 is calculated from the amount of reinforcement bar passing through the critical sections as calculated in the earlier stage of the solutions divided by BD. The B here is referring to this width. That gives you row 1 equals to 0 0.002 which is less than 0 0.02 that means this value can be used. Substitute the relevant value into the formula you will get your resistance of shear 464.2 kN and substitute K into these equations you get VRDC mean which is 507.6 kN the larger of these two will determine the shear resistance of the power caps which the largest of these two will be 507.6 that will be the shear resistance. In comparison to the reduced shear load, it is greater than the load. That means the shear resistance is acceptable. Since that the power spacing is equal to 3 times the power size, the punching shear at the perimeter 2D is not required to be checked. Therefore, the punching shear is considered adequate. Now you need to check for the maximum punching shear of the column parameter. Adopt these equations, you get your ultimate vertical shear load is equal to 8833 kilonewton, which is greater than 4200 kN vertical load. This is equal to the Asia loops of the columns. Now you know that your maximum punching shear is adequate. Your next step is to check for the cracking. Since that your thickness of the power caps is more than 200, you will need to refer to table 7.3 and for you to determine the maximum bar spacing. 
Theoretically, you should use these equations for you to compute the number. However, in these questions, it only gives you the ultimate look. You do not know the GK and QK. That means you are unable to determine the stress in the steel by using this formula. Alternatively, you can use these formulas for you to estimate the stress in the steel. This ratio of 0.55 is, in fact, the ratio of this, in between the quasi-permanent load and the ultimate load. In the formula here, there is no components of the ratio of AS provided and AS required. It is optional for you to have this within the formula. Some reference consider this while some other do not. Let's say for this example, we use this formula. That will give you the stress of 231 Newton per mn square. Refers to table 7.3 and you will get your maximum spacing of 211 based on the columns of the crack width of 0.3 mm, which is this column. Now you will need to calculate the spacing of reinforcement bar. This is calculated by minusing the cover from both sides for the width of the power caps. Divide with the number of reinforcement bar. Find the spacing in between the numbers of the reinforcement bar. Same goes to the y directions. Minus the cover from both sides. Divide with the number of reinforcement bar for you to determine the spacing between the reinforcement bars. The spacing is calculated as given here which is less than the maximum allowable spacing. That means the cracking check is acceptable. This is the final outcome of the design. The dimensions of the power caps and the positions of the powers and the amount of reinforcement bar provided. 0, 01 represent the longitudinal bar while 02 represent the transverse bar.